The film begins in the year 1600, where there were two sailors from Britain who were in a tough situation. At that time, they had been sailing for months but hadn't reached where they wanted to go. They were hungry and thirsty because they had run out of food and water on their ship. All they had left were some gold and cannons. These two sailors were feeling lost because they had taken the wrong route. They thought they were going the right way but ended up in the Strait of Magellan, which was not where they wanted to be. They started their journey with five ships and over 500 crew members, but now they were alone on their ship. A few days later, on the coast of Japan in a place called Ajuro, a man spotted a damaged ship that looked like it belonged to pirates. He quickly alerted the soldiers. Soon after, the soldiers arrived and bravely boarded the ship to investigate. They found gold, cannons, and a crew of sailors who were starving. The soldiers arrested the sailors and concluded that they were pirates. On the other hand, there's a Japanese man named Yossi and his son traveling to Osaka Castle. They were summoned by the Regent Council. When they arrived at the gate of Osaka, a regent named Isido noticed Yossi and gave him a cold look. Soon after, Yossi went into the palace and faced the regent council, which included Izido, Hiyama, Sugiyama, and a mysterious person named Ono who hid his face. Then, Isido started the meeting by praising Yossi's loyalty. Since Teiko's death, Yossi had allowed six marriages and expanded his territory. But the regents were worried that Yossi might be gathering troops to challenge them. There, Yossi claimed he was content ruling Kanto, but Izido brought up Mrs. Ochiba, who had visited one of Yossi's palaces. Yossi explained she was there because his daughter-in-law was giving birth. When Izido heard Yossi's explanation, he didn't believe him. Instead, he accused Yossi of keeping Mrs. Ochiba captive to ensure his own safety in Osaka. Soon after, Isido and the other three regents decided to remove Yossi from power because they suspected him of treason. One of Yossi's followers named Tada Hyosi disagreed with this decision because he believed his master was being wrongly accused. Tada Yossi got angry with Isido, but Yossi managed to calm him down, avoiding a fight. Yossi then asked Tada Hyosi to apologize to Isido, which he did. As a gesture of sincerity, Tada Hyosi promised not to have any more children and even said he would kill his existing ones. After hearing this, Isido forgave Tada Hyosi. He also gave Yossi seven days to return Mrs. Oshiba. After that, the four regents would decide whether Yossi would be sentenced to death. Right now, Yossi is locked up in Osaka, receiving messages from his spies delivered by birds. Shortly after, one of Yossi's generals named Hiromasu arrived. Yossi instructed him to go to Ajiro, because there was a barbarian ship captured there. Initially, Hiromatsu hesitated because he was concerned for Yossi's safety in Osaka, fearing he could be killed by the four regents at any moment. Yossi reassured Hiromatsu, and he agreed to go to Ajiro. At Ajiro, soldiers were busy with the barbarian ship. On board, the British men weren't afraid because they knew it was a Japanese person hidden by the Portuguese who had caught them. They were more wary of the Portuguese since they were enemies of the British, the British were Protestants and had tensions with the Catholics, like the Portuguese. So, they had to conceal their identity from the Portuguese and convince the Japanese that they couldn't trust the Portuguese. On the other side of things, Yossi also asked his wife, Fuji, to give up their son. Fuji knew that her husband planned to kill their son and didn't want to hand him over. Soon after, Hiromatsu's daughter-in-law, Mariko, came to calm Fuji down. There, Mariko empathized with Fuji's pain as a mother, but explained that for safety reasons and to follow the law, Fuji had to give up her son. Hearing Mariko's words, Fuji softened and handed over her son. Back at Ajero, Yabusige, the lord of Aizu, arrived and ordered his men to remove the British suspected of being pirates. The soldiers instructed them to come out. However, they faced a language barrier, so the British were scared because the Japanese carried swords. Soon after, two Japanese men came down, causing some confusion. Some of the ship's crew detained one Japanese soldier, while their leader, an Englishman named John, was brought out to discuss peace. Meanwhile, John and Yabusige's nephew, Moraji, who had been living in Ajiro for a while, asked some Christians to translate into English. 
The translator also reminded John to behave politely in Japan. But John didn't trust them because he felt he and his crew had been treated badly from the beginning. He even cursed at the Japanese, so Moroji reacted by urinating on him. After that, John was taken to face Yabusike. On the way, a Japanese Christian was concerned about English-speaking prisoners and prayed for them, but Moroji attacked him. Long story short, John stood in front of Yabusige, who called for an English to Japanese translator. Soon after, a pastor arrived, and John introduced himself as an Englishman and navigator from a Dutch ship. He explained they had been blown off course two months ago. However, the pastor didn't believe him. He suspected John of being a pirate who had robbed a Dutch ship and accused him of trying to disturb the peace between the Portuguese and the Japanese. The pastor twisted John's words, claiming he wanted to harm the Japanese and Portuguese. In the end, Yabu Sige confiscated John's ship and sentenced him to death. But John tried to prove his innocence by stepping on the pastor's cross, showing that the pastor had lied. Seeing this, Yabu Sige spared John's life. He had John cleaned up and shaved. However, the pastor still insisted on executing John and his crew. Yabu Sige decided only one of them would be executed, not John. Meanwhile, Yossi was playing with Teiko's son. Soon after, a monk named Daewin appeared, worried about Japan's current situation. Daewin believed that if Yossi was sentenced to death, Isido would do the same to all the regents, including Ochiba and her children. Daewin hoped they would respect Yossi, who was a descendant of Minawara, a prestigious title. However, Yossi didn't want to be a leader, but Daewin insisted that now was not the time to be passive. Back in Ajiro, one of John's friends was kicked out and immediately sentenced to death by being thrown into a boiling hot cauldron of water. They didn't spare John either. Even during the night, John's friend screamed for help. When his skin was badly burned, it turned out he wasn't dead yet, but he couldn't bear the pain anymore and ended his own life. The next day, Moraji asked Yabusige if Yossi had heard about the British. Yabusige said he hadn't told Yossi because Yossi was stuck in Osaka and might face the death penalty. At that time, Moraji worried that if Yossi was punished, Isida would become the most powerful regent and try to defeat the others. Soon after, Hiro Matsu arrived in Ichiro in the Aizu region. Yabu Sige and the others welcomed him. Hiro Matsu stated his goal to take one prisoner and all their belongings. Besides that, the British prisoners, along with their cannons and gold, were now under Yossi's control. Yabu Sige objected slightly as they were caught in his territory. This led to tension, with Hiro Matsu questioning Yabu Sige's loyalty to Yossi, and they almost drew swords. Eventually, Yabu Sige gave in and confirmed his respect for Yossi. Soon after, Hiro Matsu took John and all his belongings to Osaka. At first, John was unsure where he was being taken. Then, a Spanish speaker named Rodriguez appeared and explained that John would be taken to Osaka, where he needed to apologize. Hiro Matsu then asked about John's friends, but Rodriguez explained that only John had come along. They also mentioned that one friend had been sentenced to death, and the other would be held in Aizu. On the ship, Rodriguez, believing John was a skilled navigator, handed over the helm to him. But soon, they encountered rough waves. Rodriguez admitted he couldn't swim and let John take charge of the boat. Once John was freed, he instructed the crew to row to safety. Soon after, Rodriguez fell overboard. John gave him a piece of wood to stay afloat and used his experience to steer the ship through the waves. When they reached land safely, John, showing his kindness, wanted to find Rodriguez. At first, Hiro Matsu objected, but Yabu Sige trusted John and agreed to go with him. Long story short, John, Yabu Sige, and two others reached the beach. They found Rodriguez at the bottom of a ravine. John wanted to go down to help him, but Yabu Sige stopped him. Feeling pressed for time, John ordered Yabu Sige to rescue Rodriguez. Soon after, Yabu Sige went down to rescue Rodriguez, but the rope broke and Yabu Sige fell. His subordinate quickly provided another rope. In that moment, Yabu Sige struggled, fearing he might not make it and even considered ending his own life to spare his men worry. Fortunately, a new rope was thrown, 
saving both Yabusige and Rodriguez, seeing that John admired Yabusige's bravery. Meanwhile, Yossi called Mariko, knowing she could speak Portuguese, and asked her to come when the English barbarians arrived in Osaka. Back to John, he was chatting with Rodriguez when Rodriguez showed him a book he found on Yossi's ship. It detailed John's plans to plunder Spain and explore Japan, even marking Catholic camps on a map. Shocked, they almost fought. Soon, they arrived in Osaka, where John faced Yossi. Before speaking to John, Yossi reminisced about Teiko's final moments. At that time, Teiko wanted Yossi to be the only regent because he trusted him deeply and wanted him to take care of his son until he could become the ruler. Teiko feared that if there were multiple regents, enemies might target Yossi and harm his son. Therefore, Teiko decided to have five regents, with Yossi among the most trusted ones. Shortly after making this decision, Teiko passed away. In the present time, Rodriguez stayed with two pastors, including one named Martin. Then, Rodriguez shared information about John with them before leaving. Martin and the pastor were grateful because John couldn't speak Japanese, but they still needed to be cautious as John knew about the Portuguese history. Martin then went to Osaka Castle to translate for John. When Martin arrived at Yossi's place, he introduced himself to John. But John was wary because Martin was Portuguese, and he feared Martin might twist his words. Then, John instructed Martin to tell Yossi that he considered the Portuguese as enemies. Yossi wondered why John and the British were at odds with the Portuguese. John explained that England, where he came from, was 1609 come north of Portugal. The British were fighting the Portuguese because English Protestants refused to be controlled by Catholics. John stressed that he wasn't an enemy of Japan or a pirate. He was just a trader with permission to sail his ship. Yossi started to trust John. However, Isido suddenly arrived upon hearing about the British prisoners held by Yossi. This left Yossi confused. Reluctantly, to keep peace for now, Yossi decided to imprison John. In the evening, Hiromatsu was sent to invite Mariko. Soon after, she went to meet Yossi at the designated spot. There she met Yossi's wife, Kiri. Shortly after, Yossi arrived, and Hiromatsu asked about Yossi's potential removal from power. Hiromatsu feared that if Yossi were overthrown, his entire clan would be destroyed. At that time, Hiromatsu asked about John, and Yossi mentioned that his spies had learned that the Portuguese in Japan were concerned about John's arrival, particularly the Christian regents, Kiyama and Ono. They were likely to oppose John's presence in Japan. This confused Hiromatsu, so Mariko suggested that if Kiyama and Ono disagreed with John being in Japan, it might delay Yossi's removal, as they would deal with John first. Therefore, Yossi's removal would only proceed if all four regents agreed to it. Meanwhile, John learned that someone was executed every day. He met an old man who spoke Portuguese and told him he was Yossi's prisoner. The man was surprised and explained that Yossi was actually held captive by the regents in Osaka. Regent Suhiyama was a descendant of the richest samurai, Regent Ono was a feared warrior and leper, and Regent Kiyama was a Christian driven by greed and ambition. The old man believed they were all controlled by Isido, the regent guarding Osaka Castle. Soon after, Yossi would be sentenced to death by them, and if Yossi acknowledged John as a friend, John's life would be in danger. The next day, Isido met with the three regents. He asked them to decide on sentencing Yossi and his clan to death. However, Kiyama and Ono wanted to execute John first because he was considered a heretic. The pastors had found letters from John on the ship confirming his heretic status. Isido, who wasn't a Christian, clashed with the two Christian regents. But ultimately, he couldn't resist their decision and had to deal with John first. While John was still talking with the old man, the man explained that the religious groups coming to Japan were only interested in their own profits and interests. They used religion to control trade. In the past, Teiko tried to stop them but failed. The man also mentioned that in Macau, many Japanese soldiers had converted to Catholicism. Then, John asked if the Japanese were aware of this, but the old man said it was too late, indicating that the Japanese were unaware. Meanwhile, at the palace, 
Father Martin met with Mariko as her language teacher. There, Martin advised Mariko to believe that John's wrongdoing was greater than she thought, regardless of her opinion of him. Meanwhile, Izito visited Yabusige to discuss John and Yossi's intentions regarding him. Yabusige shared his belief that Yossi feared the Christian rulers would become Japan's enemies one day. He also predicted that after Yossi's punishment, Isido would rise to power, but the Christian regent would also attempt to overthrow Isido, as Isido stood alone in defending Japanese tradition. At that time, Isido acknowledged this and realized he needed John to stay alive. Yabu Sige volunteered to assist Isido. Meanwhile, in prison, it was John's turn to be punished. Soldiers took him into the forest where they were attacked by bandits. Although the soldiers died, John survived the attack. Soon after, Yabu Sige and his men arrived and killed all the bandits. Afterward, Yabu Sige escorted John to Yossi's room and revealed that the bandits were under the command of Regent Christian. At that time, Yossi was thankful for Yabu Sige's plan. There, Mariko acted as the translator, and John explained that he wasn't an enemy of Japan, because the English Queen would likely form an alliance with Japan. Shortly after, Yossi asked John to draw a map, and John began explaining about various European nations like Portugal, Spain, and England. He mentioned sailing through the Strait of Magellan to avoid Portuguese bases in Macau. In that moment, John realized the Japanese didn't know English because the Spanish and Portuguese kept it a secret. The Portuguese employed Japanese ronin and hid weapons that could cause rebellion. Seventy years ago, Spain and Portugal divided territories, and Japan fell into Portuguese territory. The Portuguese claimed Japan belonged to Portugal based on official documents. Whenever Spain and Portugal found non-Catholic lands, they imposed Catholic rule. This indicated that the Portuguese aimed to replace the Japanese government with their own leaders. Yossi asked John about his purpose in Japan. John admitted he asked an alliance with Japan to defeat their mutual enemy. At that time, Yossi warned John that he was outnumbered by Portuguese in Japan, making victory unlikely. Despite this, John remained firm in his stance. Yossi offered John to stay overnight in his private room. Accompanied by Mariko, John asked about her language skills. Mariko mentioned she had been studying Portuguese for 14 years. Hearing that, John cautioned Mariko about the danger posed by the Portuguese to her and other Japanese gentlemen. In the evening, Martin approached Yossi to seek permission for the black ship to leave for trade. However, Yossi refused and inquired about their Catholic base hidden on Japanese territory. Martin remained silent and informed the priests. Regent Kiyama, upon hearing the news, vowed to handle John personally. Early next morning, as most were asleep, a servant attempted to kill Yossi. Suddenly, John intervened and saved him. Yossi noted that it wasn't Isido who wanted to kill him, as the servant was targeting John. There, John realized the Portuguese had begun targeting him. The film will be continued. The moral lesson from this film is always double check your dinner guests cause sometimes they're aiming for your head, not your hospitality. And remember, if you're ever caught between a regent and a pirate, just keep calm and draw maps.